Hello and welcome to Breezy Chatter. Today we are going to be talking about the bold and the beautiful. Thank you to those who have subscribed to my channel. So let's get started. So it looks like Paris has told Zende that she's interested in pursuing something with Carter. She didn't give Zende all of the details. She didn't share that she's been intimate with Carter but she said she's interested in him and she'd like to see where things could go. And although it did hurt Zende, he told her she should go for it. So he's not begging her, he's letting her go. I kind of felt bad for him, but I think he's better off without Paris because who wants to be with someone who doesn't want to be with you? I just wonder, will Zende be able to watch Paris and Carter interacting in the office you know will that be too much for him considering how much he cares for paris we'll have to wait and see meanwhile we have carter he's having a lot of fun rekindling his friendship with quinn they've been talking a lot they've been joking a lot the air is really light in the room and everyone's really happy and the two of them are really happy in each other's company he's encouraging her to speak her mind and let her husband know how she feels about him being so distant. Meanwhile, we have Eric, who seems very preoccupied about Steffi, and he seems very standoffish and kind of grumpy when he's around Quinn. It's almost like he can't wait to get away from her. And we do have a scene where Quinn and Eric are talking and Carter comes into the room and Eric just jumps at the opportunity to leave. And he tells Quinn that he's going to play pickleball. And it turns out that Eric was indeed playing pickleball with Donna. And it seems like they've been carrying on for quite a while. And we see Eric and Donna in bed together. We see the infamous honey jar. And we actually get to hear Eric saying that he does love Quinn. He's telling Donna that but he's telling her that the connection that they have together, he really needs it. And it means so much to him. She means so much to him. And I'm just wondering how long is Donna going to play the side chick? Will there come a time where she wants more from Eric than he can give her? A part of me wonders why Eric doesn't just come clean to Quinn and then he can be happy with Donna and Quinn can move on with Carter. I wonder if part of the reason why Eric hasn't come clean to Quinn is because he doesn't want her with Carter. I wonder if he's trying to hold her back from being happy with another man. Because he clearly has feelings for Donna, and I think he always has. So why not have a life with her? I just wonder why he's holding Quinn back from being happy as well. <laughs> then we have Paris entering the office to tell Carter that she told Zende about the two of them. And when she comes in, she sees Carter and Quinn and they're laughing, they're joking, they're being very playful to each other. And I think she's a little jealous because she knows their history. So Quinn leaves and Paris, she breaks the news to Carter. She tells him, I told Zende that I want to pursue something with you. She told him, don't worry, I didn't throw you under the bus. But Carter never really cared for Paris the way she cares for him. And he sort of told her that it's over for the two of them. Nothing's going to happen. And Paris says, well, it can't be because of my mom. It can't be because of Zende. Uh, is it because you still have feelings for Quinn? And Carter looked quite irritated. And for some reason, Paris didn't look concerned. So it's unfortunate for Paris because Carter really does care for Quinn and any relationship that he's had or involvement with other women since Quinn have just been very surface, very convenient, very spur of the moment and nothing really deep and meaningful. And the same way Carter was ready to throw everything away and just run away with Quinn, Paris wants to throw everything away and run away with Carter but Carter's not willing to do that for her. So it's gonna be interesting to see how Carter manages to break it gently 
but firmly to Paris so that she gets it, that he really doesn't want to be with her. It was a relationship of convenience. And it also makes me wonder, will Paris want to push forward and try to create a relationship with Carter or put pressure on Carter so that they could at least try? Or will she go running back to Zende at some point? And if she does go running back to Zende, will it be too late? Only time will tell what happens between Paris, Carter, Quinn, Eric, Donna, and Zende. That is my commentary. If you liked it, hit like, subscribe, and leave comments. Thank you for your time. Until next time. Ta-ta.